Hi everyone, Dropflies here with a fly tying tutorial. Today I'm going to be tying the Harry Zebra Jig, which is a Euro style zebra midge that has been working out for me lately. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for these fly tying tutorials. I'm going to show the process of tying them and then show a few fish catches that I've managed on them. Kind of like a proof of concept thing. So stay tuned through the end to see some some of the fish I've managed to catch on this fly. In the vise I've got a fire hole 516 jig hook. This is a size 20 with a 2.5 millimeter black nickel slotted tungsten bead. I'm going to start the fly by building up a bit of a thread dam with UTC 70 denier. You could use some wraps of wire behind the bead but I kind of like building up this little thread dam. It keeps the taper in check a little bit better. So once I have the bead oriented correctly and it's locked in place, I'll start working my way back to the bend of the hook and snip off the tag end of thread. For the ribbing, I'm gonna use UTC Ultra Wire. This is small silver wire. I'm just going to tie it in towards the back of the hook and then tie a length of it up the shank of the hook just to kind of keep my body pretty uniform. We build up a slight taper, but not too much. Midges only have a slight taper to them, so I like to kind of keep keep my taper in check. And then we're going to take even wraps of that silver wire up the body of the fly. This will give it some segmentation. It's like a, so far it's a typical zebra midge. And then we'll capture our wire and helicopter it off. Now I'm going to spin my bobbin counterclockwise to uncord the glossy UTC thread. Once I get close, I'm going to take a bodkin and just check to make sure the thread's laying flat against the whole length of it. So I'm just continuing to uncord it until I get it to lay flat, kind of like this. You can run the whole length of the thread along it and see that it'll lay flat and this will make it easy to split the thread which I'm doing right now. This is to create a dubbing loop that I'm going to touch dub some hair's mask fibers in. I'm just keeping my index finger inside the loop to keep it open and to make the touch dub easier I'm putting just a little bit of high tack wax, dubbing wax on the thread. I'm just applying a little coat just enough so the hairs will stick to it. To make the little hair soft tackle, I'm plucking little bits of hair, pulling out the underfur, and just touch dubbing the guard hairs onto the thread that we waxed. So here I am just using little bits at a time. That one was kind of not great, but the rest of them will kind of lay up against the thread how I like. So here I'm just going to do four or five batches of this hair until it looks like we have enough soft tackle to make about three to four wraps around our fly. So I just finish up and then I'm going to close up the dubbing loop carefully to make sure I trap the hairs. and then. I'm going to give the bobbin a clockwise spin to cord the thread back up and capture the hair.
So once the hairs are secure, I'm going to start wrapping my little hairs mask, hairs mask soft tackle. And as you make your wraps, just kind of preen it back. It'll kind of get it to move towards the back of the fly. It's okay if this gets pretty buggy. We want it to be buggy. It'll kind of just be a mess. But we'll, re we'll be able to clean it up later. Next, I'm just going to make the smallest little dubbing noodle of black peacock ice dub. You want the noodle to be very, very thin. And you really only want enough to make about three revolutions around the hook. And I'm just kind of printing the hairs that were kind of unruly at the front back. So now everything's in the proper orientation. Then we're going to go in and make a five or six turn whip finish and snip off the thread. And that's the hairy zebra midge. Beat the knot. And snip it off. So you can see it's kind of like a normal zebra midge, but it gets pretty buggy with that hairs mask soft tackle. And then that black peacock collar just kind of adds a little bit of flash and keeps those hairs in place. So I'm just going in and cleaning up the really, really unruly ones, but I want to keep it pretty buggy. So that's it. Now we'll go and look at some fish catches that I've made on this fly. That's a big fish. Trying to keep this guy pinned. It's a big brown. Keep side pressure. Oh, no, it's a whitey. Try and keep side pressure. I thought I saw gold when he flashed. Well, get in there. Okay. There we go. Took the zebra midge jig, jig zebra midge. Oh, don't break off. Nice big whitey. There we go. Get the release on this guy. Hit the prototype midge. Thanks for watching this fly tying video. Hope you enjoyed the tying and the catching. I encourage you to try this fly out. It's been fantastic for me on these picky early winter fish. It's really saved the day out for me a couple times and I encourage you all to tie it up. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and stay safe.